All right, what's up guys? We are back for another ESPN MIC highlight reel. And boy, did Alex come out of the gate swinging this week. So I'm not going to get into numbers immediately, but we are going to get into them by the end. Tally it all up as per usual. But guys, I do these videos every single Friday to kind of recap the week. Make sure you guys are focused on the right stuff and learning from MIC's teachings. And if you're not a member, getting an idea of what we do and seeing if you want to be confident in a purchase of MIC. So guys, check this out. 213-458-5997. Just hit me up anytime, but I will show you how to book a call during this uh, during this video, and we will also recap that. But let's dive right in, guys. So Monday, this 17th of April, uh, coming up on tax day, you know, Alex made $27,000. He goes, nothing more to say except stock selection is so important. Guys, we talk about this all the time. Stock selection is literally everything. It's your best friend or your worst enemy unless you use it correctly. And this is why we teach this. And in a realm where there's so many stocks running on a daily basis, you guys have to understand where you really have to outline the ones where you actually have a specific edge. And, uh, and we identify that edge with our community and show you guys what to focus on, what to do, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, this was the 17th guys coming in day two, you know, obviously Monday, you know, coming off of Friday. So Friday it ran coming in to Monday, Alex said, and specifically, I think a, a top, top watch on a bounce. So this was his top watch guys. You know, this thing is making a huge, huge crater for market highs, uh, pre-market highs. And this is like the million dollar setup right here, right into the, into VWAP right before zombie hour, especially with that kind of overhead and room to come down. We teach this, I teach this every single webinar. So if you have fantasy orders and you're ready, this is the million dollar setup top watch for a short at 4, 450, 475, 5. Guys, it hit literally exactly four right there. Stuffed, came back down. I mean, this was this was a beauty and then faded the rest of the day. So, you know, Alex crushed it, as you guys can see, right there in the open. You know, hitting this pop right here, cushioning himself exactly how he should, reshorting it, and then cushioning himself immediately, and then honestly hammering in once this kind of like, if I zoom in this, kind of like stuffed death candle happens. So, really beautiful job. Alex is just so good at that. And, uh, and yeah, he's just great at, you know, patting the wallet and then you know, being confident on the next go around or adding to a winner when it's really proving that it's going his way. Let me remove some old images because I think I gave a webinar in this week, but PTPI as well on the 17th, which was right here. Again, guys, it's a day two right in the outer lines. Alex using the red to green line. If I pull up the watch list again, what did he say about it? Low float. So we'd need a major bounce to five, 550 and six guys. We got that right into five and uh, Alex used uh, the red to green line kind of you know kind of um, action especially right here in the morning open but uh yeah right there scaling upwards into five it did exactly what we wanted alex was a little bit earlier than five probably because this top out pre-market and then using this risking off that but uh just beautiful job just a really really beautiful trade so as you guys can see monday came out swinging uh let's see what the members did on monday shout out a couple people to show you what our members are doing but Rockmon with the outer outer lines always, and I love this. He's like, dude, PRST short, and then I flipped long in the box. So instead of over covering, he probably just was like, you know what? This is probably gonna hold. Front side shorts require front side covers. Front side of this move right here. Let me make my short, and then let me buy on a support on the way up and sell on the way up. I love that. Pathmakers, beautiful, beautiful job on CNSP. Exactly what Alex did. Literally picture perfect. And then Daniel, HC19 on PRST. Dude, these are members, man. Capturing the long side of the trade. And this is why stock selection is so important, guys. So while Alex is focused on the low hangers or the easiest short setups, we have members who are long traders and focusing on the long side. Hooper X on CNSP, amazing, amazing job. And Rockmon on a BBBY long. Riding the momentum. I love it. I love it. You guys are killing it. Tuesday, guys. Alex, again, it's like knockout, but it's like right, left, and then a, and then a master hook. But 27,000 again, 26.8. As the market heats up, I, tries to, I try to size up on high probability setups, which it has been heating up. 
I am now ignoring the hot stocks and trying to size in larger on day two and forgotten stocks while everybody essentially, you know, aka guys, throws their attention at all the major things running, taking attention of the herd. I have been very proud of my stock selection this week. I hope this action continues longer. If it slows down, I will size down. And that's exactly what Alex did on, on Wednesday because he didn't have a trade. But let's pull this up. So uh, GMDA. And as you can see, the watch list right here, looking, all right, hold on, let me pull it up for you. GMDA on the 18th, I believe, do, 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 right there. <clears throat> so guys, this was the 18th. You know, it's up pre-market, huge, puts in massive top. I mean, just this is opening very far from highs, puts in a bunch of tops, gets sold off. And what Alex wanted was looking for a potential short towards 170, 180, and 190. So as you guys can see, Right here, pre-market, Alex started scaling this pop, did a really good job, followed it on the way down in the open, covered, paid himself, and then hit it again. Picture freaking perfect trade. There's not much more to say about that. Absolutely picture perfect. Like I said, Alex is so good at adding to those winners. But let's see what the members were doing. So I, I always want to make time for the members, guys, to show you what you can do if you become a member. Awesome. E, nice call. Tom Diesel, I love it. The low hangers right there on TCBP. Beautiful job. Ace, I love this, man. I love this. Front side shorts require front side covers in the channels, hitting where the stock failed before and waiting for outer lines if it's midday. Just picture perfect process. I could shout this guy out every single day as he's still green, knock on wood, but the whole month of March, guys, the whole month of April, um, green every single day, waiting for those outer lines and following process. So, Mateo, hats off again, buddy. Wonderful job. You're an inspiration. Uh, LMAC, I love this, man. I love this. Hammering DRMA, following trend on the way down, cushioning himself the whole way, especially as it's breaking down, being very convicted on the weakness, or at least more confident, and just a really good job. Uh, soy sauce, crushed crushed this stock and i mean it guys it doesn't get much better than that his first short was at 11 he's covering the last of his shares at four in the fours that's insanity that's literally insanity that's insane uh wednesday guys i have a watch list but alex didn't trade that day so i'm actually gonna pull up what the members did and see like here's the cool part guys you have to understand alex makes twenty seven thousand on monday tw basically twenty seven thousand on tuesday and the dude is like, you know what? I just cleaned around $54,000. I'm going to relax. If it ain't there, he doesn't force. And if it is there, he trades it. But the point is, it wasn't there. He didn't force. And there's a lot of people that come off literally over a $50,000 couple days and go, dude, let me make it 100K. Let me make it 200. And then they'll just chase wrong setups or revenge trade or FOMO or, you know, give in to really bad habits. And you never see Alex doing that stuff. He really is the LeBron James of trading because he's just so disciplined in his process. It's, it's so good. Hooper X, CNSP, Outer Lines. I love that. Caught the pump and dump on that. Diego, CJJD, beautiful job, beautiful, 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 right into VWAP, I love that again, uh, Rockmon using outer lines as always, where the stock fell before guys, you gotta hit it there, and you gotta pay yourself on the dips, and vice versa on longs, VYNE, waiting for the trend to break, waiting for that stuff, death candle right there, awesome, 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 awesome job, waiting for the pop, hit the pop, and covered under VWAP, beautiful trade, J trades just following trend when you follow trend man this is this is absolutely phenomenal and it's his best trade i love that he's he's like my new best trade that's great uh thursday guys we're coming into the watch list and alex made seventy three hundred dollars on a u g x let me pull this up for you and i do what is that the, that's the 20th yeah the 20th so right here on that first day run um, Alex was basically saying potential hot chick of the day, ignoring the short until 320 breaks down and bounces fail. And that's exactly what he was doing. So, you know, guys, the, the cool part about Alex, when he says he's going to do something, he does it. And, you know, this thing started tanking right there into the open. He caught some 
and then re-hit right there. You know, this three minute charts versus one minute, so it's gonna look a little different. So we had a little bit more time than this just, you know, immediate flush and then hit it again. This stuff was so paramount right here, as you guys can see, you know, stuffs are pure panic guys and Alex was covering the majority of his size in here for a $7,300 win. A little bit crazy of a day today. Started off with a really good short on AUGX after the death camel confirmed it. That Oh, I didn't even notice. He hit some BBBY, but ran out of patience like a newbie. Attacked CNSP, but when 265 key level failed, I cut it. Started to realize I was over trading when I, when I took a short on BZFD in his zombie time. So walking away before I get myself into trouble. So I'm assuming Alex made a lot more than this. Gave a little bit back, but uh, awesome job still. $7,300. If if $7,300 is a mess up day or an overtrade day for Alex, Alex, you know he you know he's pretty good <laughs> if that if that's a if that's a subpar day for you that's pretty good Travers we're not gonna catch the whole meat of the move all the time but you know what really good job on this and uh, and great job buddy again guys we don't need to capture every single top and every single bottom it's just capture a good move capture the meat as much as you can get so pathmaker CNSP I love this where the stock fail before hit it did not get squeezed in all this amateur midday stuff during, you know, uh, obviously guys during zombie hour, waited for the stuff moves, attacked again. I'm sure that little green one was definitely, definitely, probably a um, accidental hit for sure. But that was, that's amazing. That's an accidental cover for sure. But this is great. A really good job. Pathmakers again, AUGX, phenomenal. Wait for this thing to break down, attack it. Uh, guys, wait for your confirmations. It's the best anybody could do. And then simultaneously, look at this DR DRMA long of something that's completely holding and a ripstick right into where shorts are going to be waiting short. And it's just picture perfect, man. You guys are just getting it. No matter if you're long, if you're short, you guys are knowing the channels, the outer lines, the levels where shorts should be covering and the levels where long should be selling and vice versa. All of that. It's just really, really good trading. And when we focus on the art of trading guys every single time without fail, the money comes. Like all you got to do is focus on being a really good trader and the money will take care of itself. It's the people that are like, I got to make money. I got to make money. And they're coming from this desperation almost vibration or energy, so to speak, that they just, it's almost like there's a, there's a saying, and it's really funny saying, Dan Bilzerian says this, but he goes, you know, the only two things in the world that when you need it so bad, nobody wants to give it to you. And it's obviously, well, it, it, you know, for lack of a better term, vagina, <laughs> he's like, you're not getting pussy if you need it, right? If you're desperate, but you're not getting money if you need it and you're desperate. But then once you're confident and you feel like you have enough of it, everybody wants to give it to you when you're not in desperate mode. So it's kind of just like that, like follow, not to get too crass during this you know, video, but it's kind of like guys get really confident in the art of confidence if it's with girls or, you know, the art of whatever it is that you do and the money will just take care of itself. And then the more money you get, the more opportunities the more people want to give you more and this is why the rich get richer and the and the guys who are confident with women get laid more like i'm telling you but if you're in that desperation i gotta double my account i gotta triple my account i gotta get laid at the bar tonight they smell it on you like a bad cologne dude so you gotta think about that neo quick three thousand dollar day beautiful job we don't normally share too many PLs, but when the members are crushing it it's just awesome man you know because again guys again it's not about the PLs. size is relative to each individual trader it but process is not process should be the same and that's what mic teaches you so then it's just dependent upon what size you want to start getting comfortable with but it's about the same process that we teach everybody so Friday, guys, coming into today, what do we have for you? We had um, uh, PTPI, so Alex was on this today. Let me read the watch list for you. Topped out, but would need a major bounce towards 7, 750, and 8 for me to short. Guys, we got it. Whole half dollar number 7, beautiful. Really happy with my performance this week. Avoided the hot stocks and waited for the broken stocks to bounce and pre-planned all trades in the watches. PTPI was a picture perfect short today, right at seven. Guys, when you get these dead cap bounces in outer lines, I give webinars. I get three webinars on this this week, literally three live webinars and how important that is to wait for and those confirmations of outer lines and those dead cap bounces on something that's already given back all of its gains because that's what you need, especially if you can combine that with a pivot point with a whole and half dollar number. Guys, you're going to, you're going to be killers. I'm telling you, you're going to, you're going to absolutely slay, but you got to get a couple things the process down and know what to expect and how to expect and then how to execute on it so steven shouting out uh steven shooting his uh, steven shouting out steven <laughs> i love this steven g really nice job on process buddy amazing 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 
ace nby and vcig wait for these things to top out hit the balance on both of those beautiful job travers prst what a phenomenal trade right there piecemealing all the way out uh love that prst if you're not on the long side and you're on the short side front side shorts require front side covers hit the channels beautiful job i love it you guys are crushing it check this out so guys every single month we have nancy one of our moderators girls trade two what she does is she tracks the watch list and i gotta show you the the results of this alex's march watch list was 97.8 percent worked 60.8 percent hit the line so if alex says something is on the watch list and these are the lines i'm into 60 percent hit the line 70 percent worked before zombie hours and 74 trades to, uh, total trade ideas for the month of march with a 97.8 percent guys that is huge tom diesel coming in at 92 52 hit the line and almost 70 percent worked before zombie unbelievable you cannot make these numbers up guys this is analytics this is back to this is metrics this is literally why you're paying for mic is you're getting the best education on the planet for becoming a a uh, small cap trader, a big cap trader, or a swing trader, or an options trader. We teach it all. So check this out, guys. This is our chat room right here. 2,200 plus members, all wonderful, beautiful people. Irvin sharing his dinner. I love this. You know, someone at a wedding, broker liaison going to a wedding. Here's the thing, guys. Every single day, we start with the watch list. This is what you're paying for. This is what you get. We take it to the main trading chat on what we represented of what we have an edge on. Bow making funny jokes every now and then. But the point is, is this is where the real education happens, the warnings, and everything that you need to pay attention to, especially in small cap land. We have a large cap and options room if you're not a small cap trader. So we've got tons of examples in there, tons of daily content, and then we have live webinars weekly. So this is where you can navigate, guys. There's an after hours channel like I just kind of showed you where members are showing what they're doing, people showing their cats, people showing past meetups, people showing funny jokes, their charts, whatever you want. It's just a really, really good and fun community that really has a big heart, and I, and I love to be a part of it. I love creating it, for God's sake. But guys, check this out. So this is myinvestingclub.com. There's three things I want, to, I want you to pay attention to immediately. And the first thing is, is watch our one hour free training. Guys, immediately click this button, put in your name, put in your email, watch the free course now. Guys, it's free. There's no strings attached. See if MIC is for you. We'll give you a full breakdown. Number two is go down and view, view, view Alex's verified broker statements or his earning statements. And it's, dude, it's quite substantial over the last three and four years. So you guys can see this, especially if you're number crunchers and kind of want to see, you know, if Alex is teaching you every day and, you know, he's he's creating the watch listing, he's in the chat, live commentary, that's his track record. So that's the guy you're learning from every single day, guys. You have to understand how beneficial that is. And then the video library, which is super important. Guys, this is a search feature for anything you want to put in, FOMO, uh, Deathline Short, you know, Death Candles, whatever it is. And then if you scroll down, you're going to see our full roadmap of content right here. So this is the video library on myinvestingclub.com. We come right here. Alex is live trades, guys. This is huge. Alex will literally record live examples off his computer. He will comment. He will literally commentate after audio commentary. We'll splice it all together. And you guys can see real, tra like right here, $67,000 profit. Uh, ATM dilution explained on ETNB that day. And he guides you through and you can see his screen as he's executing and the PL is fluctuating. So super beneficial. If I go back to the main page, but you go to any page, guys, book a call. Book a free call. See if MIC is for you. It's going to take you to an online order form. Fill that out. Get some information. And I will literally take a one-on-one -on -one call with you. It'll go to my Google Calendar. We will see if MIC is for you. And we can answer all of your questions just to make sure that maybe MIC is for you. So guys, another announcement before I add up Alex's total April 25th, save the date, this Tuesday, this Tuesday, we are doing a live screen share for annual and lifetime members. Bow and Alex are literally going to create the watch list live, trade live, commentate live. You guys can watch it the whole time, follow along and see what's going on, especially with the mentorship and education. That is this Tuesday, all day. If you guys want to upgrade, it is exclusive to our annual and lifetime members at MIC. If you want to upgrade for that or get access, just DM me in Slack chat. Just send me a DM, guys. Obviously, this is my handle right here, tbradley90. Just send me a DM. If you are not a member, what we will do is uh, just text my line right here, guys. 
at 213-458-5997 or you can email and I will get you more information on that. And then as per tradition, let's uh, tally it up. This is the last thing, 27,000. I know we can do this in our heads usually, guys, but it's just, it's fun to see the numbers on the calculator. It's just so fun. Uh, 7,300 plus 7,200. It's so funny. He had like 27, 27, <laughs> and then like 73, 73 practically. Guys, $68,300 week for Alex. That's not including rebates. I'm sure this number's well over 75 by the end of the month. It, it, it's just insane, dude. It's insane. This guy's killing it. So this is your main educator, guys. This is the guy that took 35 k to over $1 million small account challenge in 55 trading days, literally practically before April. You guys have to understand we are the number one community club and educators for day trading on the entire internet and these are the results that your main educator is doing teaching you daily and if you want to be a part of this you've got to reach out guys book a call get our free mentorship on get our free mentorship course on myinvestingclub.com and make sure that you come april 25th virtually to our event next tuesday literally this upcoming tuesday it's gonna be a banger and we'll show you guys exactly how to do uh what alex does which if you learn this skill set you can do it the rest of your life so guys that is the ESPN MIC highlight reel, and we will do this again next week. So much fun.